Yo, hey, welcome back to Deep Fried Crazy. I'm your host, I'm Chef Dave, and guess what? Today we're throwing down for Thanksgiving. Uh, we do all kinds of deep fried crazy on this show. One of the things we don't do crazy is we don't burn down our house on Thanksgiving while we're frying our turkey. That is not something that we do. What I wanted to go after for this episode is the whole pizza wing, you know, beer eating experience. We're gonna make some French bread pizza stuffing to stuff inside of our ghost pepper flavored turkey today and it's gonna be freaking insane. The first thing we need to do though is of course we can't forget about our beer element here so I got some PBR going on. And I'm gonna go straight into my cooler like this, right? This is gonna be the start. Now PBR, it's a nice mild beer. This is really gonna give us a great beer flavor that goes along with our fried turkey. It's a match made in heaven, trust me. It's really freaking good. We're gonna spice it up, a little bit of Tabasco. You can use as much or as little as you want. Go crazy with it if you want. A little bit of spice never hurt anyone. Whenever you use a lot of salt, you need to use some sugar too. I got some brown sugar here. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna sweeten this brine up. And we're not shy about stuff, so I think I'm just gonna use this whole freaking pound of it. Come on, man. <laughs> Kitchen trick 101, check this out. Don't be shy about your usage of salt, right? And then I got some hot water right here, okay? So I'm gonna go straight in my cooler with this hot water and check it out. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a stir with my whisk here. If you don't have a whisk, just use your bare hand. It's all good. And I'm just gonna help that sugar and that salt dissolve in there. I got my whole turkey. I'm just gonna put it straight in the cooler. And you say, hey man, we do all kinds of crazy on this show. Um, are you really gonna leave a turkey and lukewarm beer overnight? And no, we're absolutely not gonna do that. So I got some ice, just like we were going off to the game. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on this. I'm gonna come back to this tomorrow morning, see what we have coming up. Done, I'll see you in the morning, bye. Hey yo, check it out, good morning. So I'm back. First thing I'm gonna do, I just woke up, I'm gonna check on my bird, see what's going on. Nice, beautiful bird. I'm gonna make sure to drain this guy completely, okay? I wanna make sure to get all the water off of it. If you're gonna do this at home and you're not me, the thing you wanna make sure to do is make sure your turkey is completely dry. You don't want any moisture going into the fryer. So I'm just gonna dry my turkey, make sure everything's looking nice and good. And I also wanna dry the inside cavity right here too. So don't forget about that. That area can harbor a lot of water. Taking care of it, patting it down. All right, cool, so that's looking good. Next thing, I'm gonna go straight down into my deep fryer. Now, you can use a dingle dangle, you can use whatever you want to do. So I'm just gonna go straight in with my, with my hand, basically. And I'm gonna make sure not to touch it with the oil, of course, so here we go. I'm gonna lower it in gently. Check it. Hear that crackle? That's the sound of winning. And now that I'm three quarters into the oil, I can just go ahead and drop it. Not a big deal at that point. I got an internal probe thermometer in that. I'm gonna cook it to 165. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna throw down on my stuffing. I'll be back with you in just a minute here. We've been swimming in the oil. Time to bring this beauty out. Let's check it out and see if we're winners. Of course, whenever you're removing turkey from the fryer, you wanna make sure to get all the oil out of it and always use extreme caution. Make sure I get that extra oil out. I'm just gonna take it right over. Check me out. I'm right here. Boom. All right, cool. So we're talking about the pizza wing beer experience. Right now we're gonna go into our stuffing. I've already got a PBR brine deep fried turkey. We're gonna ghost pepper that in a second. Right now I got some Red Baron French bread pizza. So I'm gonna go right in with these. I'm gonna put my pizza actually inside my turkey. I'm gonna give it that nice pizza stuffing. So it's gonna be like you're eating a giant turkey wing that's stuffed with a meat lover's triple uh, meat pizza. It's one of the best things that you can do. Not throwing anything around, but let's just go ahead and dice these up very simply. Don't gotta be fancy with it. Bam, and I'm cooking just like that. I wanna make sure to get all that cheese and meat in there. We don't wanna waste a thing. This is all beautiful. Next thing, I'm gonna go in with a couple eggs. Eggs are an important element of stuffing. So I'm gonna rain down some egg yolks. Bam. All right, mirepoix. It's carrot, celery, onion, all mixed together. This is the smell and the taste of the holidays. Whether you're talking about Christmas, whether you're talking about Thanksgiving, this is what your house smells like when granny is cooking. So I'm gonna mix some of that in as well. Last thing, a little bit of salt, pepper, get this all seasoned up. 
If you wanna add some herbs, you can go ahead and do that too. I always add a couple ramen packs. If I got some spare chicken packs sitting around, always makes it nice. For now, let's go ahead and toss this up, get all mixed up well together. Nice and juicy. Get that egg yolk in there. Make sure that egg coats everything. I wanna mix all my seasoning right into that pizza. The last thing I do, we're deep frying everything on this show. We don't have an oven here. So we're actually gonna make a log of this deep fry and then stuff it into our turkey next. Let's check it out. I'm gonna make a stuffing pizza loaf. Now I'm basically gonna make a little burrito pack here. Just like you would do if you're going to Chipotle. I'm gonna roll both of my edges up to contain that stuffing. I'm gonna start right here. Check it out. Go over just a little bit. Fold my edges up just a little bit more. Crimp that down to keep all my stuffing nice and compact. This is just my insurance policy right here. Make sure it doesn't blow up in the fryer. I fold over. Fold over once again. I make sure that bad boy's crimped up. Now I'm gonna go straight into the fryer over here. Drop it down. Give it some time in the oil. So the next thing, I got this freaking really crazy hot sauce. This is a Carolina Reaper wing sauce. It's also got ghost peppers and some other stuff going on. So uh, be careful when you're working with something like this. Don't touch your eyes or anything else that you uh, may occasionally touch because you're gonna burn yourself. All right, so I'm just gonna cover this thing. Ooh, look at that. Looking good. So this is about the wing experience, right? I've already got the beer element in here. I've already brined this thing in PBR overnight. So I got a nice ale element to it. Right now, what I'm working on is that wing, right? Now, like I said, be careful guys. Do not touch this with your hand at this point because you're gonna regret it later on. So check this out. I'm gonna take this, move it right onto my presentation platter. All right, so now that I got my ghost pepper, Carolina Reaper bird all dressed up, I'm gonna go ahead and put my pizza stuffing into it. I'm gonna go straight into the crevice. Now, make sure you fill that crevice all the way. Don't get in there and just kind of half do it. Uh, commit to the deed at hand, all right? Make sure this thing gets nice and stuffed. My God, that, that sauce is like getting into my eye right now. That is crazy hot. It's hard to really quantify the amount of stuffing that you're gonna exactly put in your bird. So make sure you put that extra stuffing in a ramekin or something, glaze it up with a little bit of butter and make sure that graces your table as well. Now, the last thing, um, this is pretty traditional right here, but I got this deep fried pizza and I'm simply gonna fold in half just like this and I'm gonna use it to stuff and kind of seal this end. I'm just gonna stuff it right in there. Because one hot sauce isn't hot enough, this isn't spicy. You can see I'm literally like crying right now. This is so hot. And I'm just getting hit with the steam off of it, man. So I'm gonna tiger stripe this bad boy though. Got a little sriracha mayo. One chili is not enough. We gotta do multiple chilies on this show. Tiger stripe. And then tigers not only have uh, orange stripes, of course, they have some black stripes in there too. Let's give a little bit of that going on. And then lastly, just because we're cooking with fresh herbs and stuff, Norman Rockwell style, make sure we've got a family feast. All right, check it out. There you have it, spiciest turkey on the block. So I got the spiciest bird on the block right here. This thing's freaking crazy. Three kinds of chilies, Carolina Reapers, ghost peppers, and also some sriracha going on in there too. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. All right, catch me on the next episode of Deep Fried Crazy. And uh, happy freaking Thanksgiving. I'll see you there.